In today's episode of All About Trailers, we're gonna dive into the question of which hoist is the best on a dump trailer. There are three common types of hoist used in the industry today. Those are the scissor lift, the dual ram, and the newest addition, the telescopic lift. Our sponsor, Texas Pride Trailer, sent over their engineer and these three dump trailers to help us find out which of these systems is the best fit for you. We have Brad, the engineer from Texas Pride Trailers, visiting us today to determine which one of these trailers has the best hoist system for certain jobs. Brad, what are some of the common issues with dump trailers that people face and which one of these trailers is right for what industry? So when we look at dump trailers across the board, ours especially, they'll lift the load that they're supposed to lift with ease, but the common problem that we see is when people start to overload the trailers past their GVWR. And then when you overload those trailers, that's when the small differences between each hoist system will show through. With that, let's dive into these and see what the differences really are. So with the scissor hoist system, we're basically utilizing these two mechanical arms and a hydraulic cylinder in the middle to apply this hard initial push in the first stage of the lift. So for any dump trailer, whether it's scissor, dual ram, or telescopic, that first five or six inches is always gonna be the hardest. Is that because it's trying to overcome that load from a flat surface? Correct, and so as you gain more dump angle, the scissor hoist is actually gonna mechanically trade that force into speed. And so at the end, you're gonna end up with a faster dump cycle as compared to the other two dump trailers. So with that trade-off, that, that giving the power away for the speed at the end, does that mean this is a weaker trailer overall or? So in terms of the GVWR and what the trailer is rated to do, this trailer will lift its payload capacity all day long, every day, no problems. In terms of a maximum effort lift, this trailer is gonna fall behind the other two just a little bit. Okay, and then as far as with the scissor lift, it seems a little heavier than what the other two are. Right, so with the scissor hoist in particular, you're gonna get some more reinforcements in the upper frame as well as the lower frame. And those are just in there to handle the stress associated with that initial push off of the bottom. So this is gonna be a little more heavier than the telescopic, but still Correct. come in underneath where that dual ram weight would be. Yeah, gonna be very similar to the dual ram in weight, but it's gonna come in pretty significantly over the telescopic system because all these reinforcements have to be added for the scissor. Okay, and in a real world example, this would be for those people who constantly dump loads every single day, multiple times, this is their job, this is what they live off of is making sure this gets filled and dumped multiple times a day. Right, so in applications where these guys are loading and unloading constantly throughout the day, this is gonna be a good bet for them because that faster lift cycle is gonna save them some time, which we all know is money over the course of you know the long haul. Cool, well that's the scissor lift. Next we're gonna take a look at the dual ram. So this is our dual ram dump trailer. This style of trailer has been around forever, probably longer than I've been alive, actually. It's tried and true, it's reliable, it works for lots of different people. Unlike the scissor hoist, this does not sacrifice power for speed. So we get a hard straight line push on the dump bed throughout the whole dump cycle. And as a result of all that force being put out by these hydraulic cylinders, we actually have to add steel reinforcements in the lower frame as well as the upper frame just to handle the power from those two hydraulic cylinders. So as it pushes, it's not as fast, but it pushes a lot farther and a lot harder than the scissor lift that we looked at previously. Right, you're gonna get more, you're gonna get a harder push out of these two dual ram setups than you are that scissor hoist. So this is the tried and true system that people go to because it's been reliable, it's been known, and it's something that's been in this industry forever. Correct. So the dual ram setup, this would be more for those people who know they're gonna load this to the max load possible every day. So your remodelers, your roofers, your landscape guys, the ones that are dumping gravel every day, the ones that know they need to power through more than they need to speed through a job. Correct, yeah, anybody that's gonna consistently load close to the max or the max payload capacity for their trailer, this dual ram setup is a great option for them. Seems like a really nice setup, has the power, lacks speed on the scissor lift, and uh, next we'll see how this compares to our telescopic. So the last trailer in our dump lineup here at Texas Pride Trailers is a telescopic lift. This is our newest technology here at Texas Pride. This in-dump style lift has been around in the semi-trailer market forever. It's been a reliable system for that market and so we've just ported that technology over into the gooseneck and bumper pull style trailers. 
And because this system is mounted to the front side of the dump bed, you're gonna get the most lifting power out of this system as compared to the other two lifting styles. Also, as a result of that end mount, the cylinder itself is gonna feel less strain over the course of time. Having it mounted to the front of the trailer allows us to add less steel reinforcements in the lower frame as well as in the upper frame of the dump itself. And so that's gonna end up, the customer's gonna have a trailer that's about a thousand pounds lighter than the other two. A thousand pounds. A full thousand pounds. That gives you more load capacity. That gives you more load capacity, correct. In a real world sense, this is for someone that knows that they're gonna push the limit and kind of abuse their trailer in the long run. Right, so we would obviously never recommend overloading the trailer past the GVWR, but for someone that's gonna push that limit on a day in, day out basis, this trailer is a really good option for them. So it's fast, not as fast as the scissor left. Not quite. But it's not as slow as the dual ram and it seriously pushes, I mean, it will push some weight up. Yeah, this, this thing is, is way over engineered for what the GVWR of the trailers is. Again, we wouldn't recommend overloading them, but over time that allows the cylinder to just keep on pushing. And it's a gravity down, right? It's a gravity down. So in, in the other systems, we have a power up and power down system. And so that basically uses double the battery life. And so with this end dump being a power up and gravity down, you're saving essentially half of your battery life over time. Is this the one that you'd put your money on to show the push and power versus the other two? If I was gonna do a, a one, sort of a one rep, one lift max effort dump, this would be the one that I would choose. With these explanations and the differences we've seen, we have to take Brad's word for it. I mean, he does have an engineering degree and has put some work into the design of these trailers we've seen today. But until we throw our hard-earned bucks down and take these into the field, we really won't know which is truly the best. Why not let's take these trailers out in the field, let's overload them and let's see which one performs the best. To recap, we looked at three different types of hoist systems. The scissor lift, which trades power for speed, the dual ram setup, which is slower, but will power through any load, and then finally the telescopic lift, the newest tech that Texas Pride is putting in their dump trailers, which Brad would vouch for in any situation. Come back for our next episode where we field test these three trailers. We're gonna overload them past the GVWR and see which one powers through it, which one struggle, and which one is the best overall in that field test. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, so you will know when we test these trailers next. Oh,